Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my Philadelphia Phillies franchise on MLB The Show 20 and now today we have a very, very special episode but quick before we get into it, um, just want to remind you guys to like and subscribe of course if you are enjoying this content and the series on my channel. So now here um, in this episode, um, basically what's going on is that um, our two top prospects, Spencer Howard and Alec Baum, are getting the call and are actually going to make um, their debuts on the same day. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to do this a little bit um, real quick um, before playing the game, so this is actually after, so I'm going to avoid showing the statistics from the game in uh, this little bit while I introduce them, so um, keep that in mind as well, but... Okay, so, I mean, here, just looking at Howard, um, of course, he has been called up. He's on the roster officially. Um, pretty good stats. I mean, he, at this point, he's pretty much a strikeout guy. Um, pretty raw. Um, walks a decent amount of guys. Gives up a decent amount of homers. Um, decent at um, just not only hits in general, but uh, definitely a strikeout guy with uh, limited control. But, of course, um, we are hoping that he can develop that as his career moves along and in addition to Spencer Howard he will be donning the number 29 um for the Philadelphia Phillies of course um he was um he is defaulted to 83 in this game but of course that is not realistic at all um not a realistic number for a top player on a team unless he really would go ahead and choose him of course we're all about realism on this channel so we went ahead and gave him 29 now, of course, our other top prospect, Alec Baum, is also getting um, his debut today, as I mentioned earlier. He, of course, is um, really known for his bat. Um, pretty um, well-rounded bat at that, too. Um, pretty decent on-base skill. Um, doesn't strike out a lot. Um, can hit for um, average and power. Um, pretty much a really all-around great hitter, of course. Um, there is some to be desired in the field. Um, whether his future be at uh, a quarter infield spot or if it's in uh, left field, which I kind of mentioned um, earlier in the series, that that could be a possibility and um, in this series and a possibility that I think um, could come to fruition in real life, uh, depending on how things shake out with the roster. But again, here is kind of his profile um, as a player um, before we get into his debut. And then also Alec Baum will be wearing um, number 18 for the Phillies. Because of course, we don't want him wearing number 80. And I'm pretty sure he uh, also wore um, 18 in AA and uh, in his minor league career so far. Getting into the action now. Um, the 52-62 and 62 Phillies taking on the Reds who are in the playoff hunt in the NL Central. Spencer Howard, of course, taking the mound for us today. His major league debut so very very exciting stuff right here to Philly. so now Spencer Howard going ahead and facing the first batter of his career um Akiyama of course the um international player that is new to the Reds and he gets him to line out to Bryce Harper and now here taking a quick look at the Reds lineup just showing kind of what they got they have former Philly uh, shortstop Freddie Galvis slotted in there in the seven hole and other than that um a pretty standard lineup that you could expect from the Reds this season now jumping back into the game very next batter Jesse Winker and he goes down Howard left that fastball over the middle but Winker I'm um, still just not able to make contact so that is Howard's first major league strikeout now Castellanos here um, would single and uh, so Howard would get his first strikeout and allow his first hit in the top of the first inning while on the mound for the Phillies and then here the very next batter Eugenio Suarez comes up and Howard gets another strikeout on a nice slider. Luis Castillo was on the mound up for the Reds today. He has been pretty decent for them but so far this season of course one of their um, top line starters and a uh, very important um, to their major league ball club and uh, Castillo would not exactly have the same uh, start that Spencer Howard would as a Howard as a not Howard Harper when I'm double that one down the left field line, um, they were shifted, but I'm not sure the third baseman could have made the play on that one anyway, as it was hit pretty hard um, right down the line. So a double for Harper now. Now the very next batter, Andrew McCutcheon, hits one out to left center field, and that one gets over the wall, skips on on here. 
kind of a lowish line drive home run, but that is McCutcheon's 22nd of the season, as you can see there, and 102 miles per hour on the exit velo there. So the Phillies getting two early runs here in this one. Now JT Romito, the third batter of the game, he doubles one out to left center field, and that one not quite a homer, but gets off the wall. Center fielder going to play that one. So the first three batters of this game have gotten extra base hits. So again, not a fantastic start for Castillo at all. Not exactly what you want if you're the Reds. Now the Phillies lineup, um, pretty standard. Um, the only thing I really want to showcase here was Alec Baum um, getting ABs in the sixth spot, which uh, is where he should slot in um, against righties and lefties. Now speaking of Baum himself, he's getting on here in the first thing with two outs. So Romito's still on second. And then Kingry here. Um, again, another walk. So two straight walks for Castillo. So this first inning getting even worse for him. And then he walks Hazley. So he walks three batters in a row. And I give Spencer Howard a pretty big first at bat with the bases loaded of his career. But uh, does not do anything with it. Now Mustak is up in the top of the second with one out. He's striking out on a high fastball. Howard, of course, uh, has some pretty good stuff and can uh, run up that fastball a little bit. Now Harper here. Walking on a borderline pitch in the top of the second, I mean the bottom, to lead things off. And McCutcheon, again, crushing that one. So two at-bats, two homers in this game. That one um, out to more kind of center field, but uh, very far, 442 feet. Absolute moonshot for his 23rd of the year. Now Rumito up, still no one out in the bottom of the second. And he's hitting one. This time out to right field, and that one's going to barely scrape over the wall. So, Rumito, his 17th of the season, and that one barely getting over that right field wall. But Castillo just struggling, just serving everything up, and that would do it for him as Jose De Leon would come in for the red. So, Castillo does not even get through two innings. Um, he just was absolutely awful, could not do anything, couldn't control the ball. Uh, at all walking a lot of guys and then serving pitches up right in the middle so the Phillies have a huge six run lead very early in this game as the Reds however do get a lead off single in the third I mean he would move over but Jesse Winker would uh, not be able to do anything as he would just ground that one weekly to King Ray at second and would easily be turned over for the out now Hazley up here bottom of third one away and he is hitting one out to right that one is kind of low, but gets out anyway. So Hazley, um, only his second home run of the season, of course. I've kind of uh, talked about how his, uh, he's been struggling offensively this year, not hitting for really any power at all. So good to see that from him. And here, Castellanos, um, just letting that high fastball go right by him. There. Now jumping into the top of the fifth, Howard still cruising along um, very nicely. Here's a double um, to lead off the inning, so maybe Howard getting to a, a little bit of trouble here as he kind of rounds uh, his third trip around the Reds lineup. And the Reds, uh, do not forget, are a pretty decent team. And uh, here, Kirk Casale, he's um, coming on the bottom uh, of the top of the fifth, I should say. Hits a kind of low line out to Hazley. Hazley, uh, kind of an awkward um, in-betweener ball, um, was coming in on it. Didn't quite get to it, so that one bounces, and a runner gets over to third. Now here, another batter here, um, bottom of the fifth. The very next batter, I do believe, hitting a uh, kind of a weak fly ball at the center. Um, not in distance, but a kind of a lazy fly ball, and that's going to easily bring in the run. So the Reds getting on the board here, um, cutting that deficit down to six. And now Akiyama, I'm um, striking out again in this game. So his second of the day. Rizio Iglesias, um, the uh, Reds, um, probably their best reliever coming on here in the uh, fifth, I believe, for the Reds. And uh, kind of curious here, as we have a huge lead and they're bringing him in. But here Alec Baum leading off the bottom of the fifth. And there it is. Alec Baum getting his first um, major league hit, um, hopefully the first of many. We, um, of course, hope that he could be a cornerstone for our franchise, locking down, um, you know, wherever he is in the field, whether it be third, first, possibly left field, but still, um, we're counting on him to be a productive member of our offense in the future. Now, top of the sixth year, two outs, and uh, Howard so close to getting out of the top of the sixth the full count on Suarez but he hits one out to left field and uh, there's no doubt about that one so Suarez kind of ruining Howard's sixth inning here so uh who was cruising along in this game without really any problem now Moustakis then very next batter one one count on him and he hits one out to right 
Um, and that one is also pretty much a no doubter. Brett Harper can only look up and watch that one fly out. So Howard, who was cruising through this game, now is allowed back to back homers um, in the top of the six. So not great from him. Um, now jumping into the next inning, Amir Garrett, the lefty for the Reds, coming on. And he walks the very first batter he faces McCutcheon, which now brings Real Muto up with no out. And Real Muto hits that one out the left. That one gets right down uh, before the left fielder. He kind of misplays it but uh doesn't really matter because uh, no one moves but uh, however the inning would be killed pretty quickly by hoskins double play who is of course one of the only phillies who did not perform well offensively this game of course really has been doing well this season at all and so after six um that would do it for howard so those two home runs um in sixth inning kind of put a damper on his performance but he still is very good for us i believe he struck out nine over those six innings that didn't walk anyone so very good performance with him, very pleased with his Major League debut. Robert Stock would come on for us to kind of uh, shut down the Reds and uh, in the rest of this game. We do have a pretty big lead, a four-run lead. At least not a safe situation. He would come on and get Kirk Casale in the seventh inning with two outs and would have no problem getting through that seventh. Now Nate Jones on for the Reds, another one of their good relievers. Um, their bullpen must be a little shorthanded tonight as they're using some of their better guys in this one. At least that's what I'm thinking. Now bomb, he's up and he is out. A low liner in the left center. So we saw his first major league hit and now his first major league home run, which is absolute laser. And he returns to an empty Philly dugout as of course they're running the little everyone just ignore him as he gets in there but there, there they go they hit up their boy hitting his first major league home run hopefully again the first of many now kingry the very next batter he's hitting one out the left center kind of into that little corner and left center and that one's gonna barely sneak out of here in that lower level of the corner so kingry and bomb go back to back um so pretty cool to see that as the phillies kind of extend their lead more now Reds kind of going even deeper in their bullpen, which they've already reached very deep in. Of course, Castillo didn't go very far, but now going over to us, um, Adam Morgan, thing about for us, of course, our good lefty reliever, um, one of the best lefties in the league. At least he's pitching like it in this series, and he's gonna allow a weak rounder there in the eighth inning that bomb will make his first fielding play of his career which is kind of cool to see morgan back out there for the ninth to face the lefty Derek dietrich no problem for him and that would bring us to a call in victor rana who was recently called from triple recalled from triple a uh, with uh of recent and he would have no problem finishing this one striking out kirk castale so the phillies um, get a ton of offensive support in Spencer Howard's major league debut again very very nice performance from him tonight um, pretty much everything was working for the Phillies starting with uh, McCutcheon's homer early in the game um, pretty much everybody carrying the offense most guys had a hit tonight Alec Baum of course very good tonight getting his first major league hit and his first major league home run in the same game so quite a debut from uh a tandem that we definitely expect to be a big part of our organization um, in the future. And uh, yeah, as you can see there, 10 to 3 is the final score in this one. Again, our offense was just clicking on all cylinders. Spencer Howard also was fantastic for us, and our bullpen also pitched some shutdown ball for us. And yes, uh, so yeah, um, there's the actual stats. Howard, um, seven strikeouts and three earned runs in six innings, so pretty good start for him. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Do not forget to like and subscribe if you have enjoyed the content. So I will see you guys next video.